Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Read Aloud Wednesday. So today's activity is actually not an extension from a book, but a different type of extension that we're doing, which is environmental print. So earlier we, we read, oh, I cannot say those two words together, Gary and Harry. This is the book that we read today. And in this book, some things happened with Gary and Harry. Who remembers what happened? Hmm, what was the big problem? If you guessed that, let me get to the page before I, if you guessed that Harry accidentally choked on a plastic bag because he thought he was jellyfish, you are right. So what we're going to be doing today is using um, some old magazines. Each of you got a magazine in your bag along with a green paper that says the environmental print. And we're going to be reusing this magazine instead of throwing away. We're going to be cutting out some pictures today and gluing them using our environmental print from here. So there's, there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can look for different shaped items, different type of colored items, some letters, a specific letter, um, or you can do, I think that might be about it, shapes colors or letters oh or numbers if you see a number in your magazine you can even cut that specific number out so for today i focused on shapes and my shape i focused on was round um, there's two different round shapes we did the basic round is oval or circle the complex round we did was a cylinder i hope you guys remember that from a couple weeks ago cylinders so i'm actually going to move us down here a little bit and show you what I've done. Now I've pre-cut my shapes out just for the length of the video. Um, but if you would like, pause this, pause this now, the video, and then go ahead and cut out whatever shapes that you're looking for or colors, numbers, um, or letters, whichever one you're looking for. So I cut out a couple different types of shapes. And this first shape here is the complex one. This is a cylinder. It is a paint can. This is a complex shape. So I'm gonna take my glue. You can use stick glue or liquid glue for this. And I'm going to glue it onto my paper. Now obviously the paper is gonna be facing towards you while you're doing this activity, okay? The next one I found is a um, nail polish can. Now I thought this was more of a cylinder type shape, especially the top where you twist it off. That's really a cylinder there. Okay, so I'm gonna again glue the back here and put it on my paper. Now, if it's overlapping on your other shape a little bit, that's fine. You can peel it off and move it away if you would like, or just leave it on there. Um, this one I found there's some banana pieces, some raisins, and a bowl. Now the bowl was cut off in the magazine, so I try to get as much of it as possible. But this is the basic shape. These are ovals and circles here. Okay, let me put that down here. Another shape I found that fit this that was an oval is a fingernail. These fingernails are shaped into ovals. So I'm gonna put that right here. And the last one I found, which I actually might have to move a couple of these around because these are probably gonna overlap each other. I'm just gonna put it a little in that corner there are cupcakes. Now this actually is two of this of the round pattern I was looking for. The top has a cherry on it, which is a circle, but the bottom is like a cylinder shape. The cupcake cupcake itself is a cylinder shape. I am so sorry, friends, I cannot talk today. So again, I'm gonna take the glue, and I'm gonna put it right on the paper. And there is my environmental print collage, all completed. I used pictures from this magazine. I cut them out with scissors and I put them on my paper here to make my environmental print collage. Now, again, you don't have to do shapes. You can, if there's letters or a specific letter you're looking for, you can find it on here. Like this one has a whole bunch of them. There's S O T I M. There's a whole bunch of letters. If you're doing numbers, here's a one and a zero. Now your magazines are gonna look different, but this is just an example. Um, you can do colors. Maybe those tennis shoes are pink. 
there's that nail polish. Um, it might be coming off a, a brown, but that's actually pink nail polish on there. So if you're trying to stick with the color, um, there's there's a whole there's a lot of different options that you can utilize from these magazines uh, to make your environmental print collage. I can't wait to see your guys' hard work. I cannot wait to see what you choose to do for your environmental print collage. And as always, remember to take a picture and upload it to Class Dojo so we can see your hard work. I hope you guys have a safe and happy Wednesday. We'll see you next time.